like to chat about the dresses that we wear tonight. We chew the fat about our terraces and a neighbor's fight. Inconsequential things you men don't really care to know become essential things we women find so apropos. See, that's a dame, we're all the same, it's just a game. They call it girl talk, girl talk. A man wrote this. <laughs> we all meow about the ups and downs of all our friends, the who, the how, the why. We dish the dirt, it never ends. Not weaker sex, just speaker sex. You mortal men behold, cause though we joke, we wouldn't trade it for a ton of gold. Questionable. <laughs> See, that's a dame. We're all the same, and it's a game. We call it girl talk. Okay. <laughs> but. I believe in creative spirits, muses, you might say. And I think sometimes the muse will hide itself, hide what it really wants to say in the dressing of the opposite. Because when I heard Dakota Staten do this song, I was like, hmm. I think it's like a sealed envelope that the writers just thought was complete. But actually inside of it, there's like a whole other thing going on. Remediation, remediation, remember this, remediation. And I think it has something to do with the fact. If you seem like you're not saying anything of much importance and you can't get a moment to yourself, because maybe you're at work, you're a secretary, let's say, or you're a mom all day at home. A good cover to have the freedom to say whatever you want, whenever you want is to seem like you're not saying nothing. You know what I'm saying? So maybe it seems like we're talking about our dresses, our tresses, our neighbors' messes, but in fact it's all a metaphor for what can't be said directly in the 1950s. <laughs> and I imagine that some ladies who heard this song were chuckling to themselves like, do these men know what they just wrote? <laughs> and are they giving our secret away? Of girl talk. we can go using only metaphors and song titles or memes from Instagram that day. It's like an inside language that maybe someone sitting right next to us might not understand, but we understand. And you almost get a kick out of the fact that you're saying something in the plain view of someone who doesn't understand exactly what you're saying, and it makes you want to keep saying it. Almost sing if they're going to catch on, and then they keep not catching on, so you keep going more, because now it's just funny. Girl talk. Girl talk. And you know what I'm talking about? Maybe at work? Or maybe if you and your girlfriend got stuck at, let's say, I know it's football season, I'm not a football fan, I respect people who are, but first, <laughs> I'm with my friend at her booze house, and all his friends are over, and the only available activity is watching the big screen TV. What are we gonna do? But sit next to each other and have our girls have a conversation critiquing the hyper-masculinity on this show and how the Brian Andrews keep having these poor young kids on TV, these poor young kids in high school who overheat their helmets and they pass out and their mamas are wondering if they're going to get hurt or break a leg. Well, the woo is happening. The girl talk is happening. We're simply balancing out the calibration of the moment and perhaps subconsciously planting ideas in your thought about that. <laughs> but for now, we'll just call it Girl Talk. Girl Talk.
fundamental things we women find so admirable. But that's a dame, we're all the same. Yes, it is a game. They call it girl talk. says meow. <laughs> I just heard that for the first time right now. Not weaker sex, speaker sex, you mortal men behold. For though we joke, we wouldn't trade it for a ton of gold unless it was actually offered to us like a ton of gold. <laughs> yes, I'll never talk again. <laughs> um, girl talk. Girl talk under the cover of girl talk. And I did a try to keep up with girl talk and understand the hidden meaning in girl talk. Or see if you can come after some girl talk and have a conversation on that level with a girl talk. Girl talk. Girl talk. They say girl talk, but after girl talk. 